Hi everybody, Brooke Sanders here with Johnstown's Finest. And today I'm very excited because you know we're covering a lot of our local artists in uh, Johnstown, Pennsylvania this year again. And I'm here with Norman Ed. Hi Norman. And we're uh, in his studio and he's having an exhibit coming up called Way of the Cross. How you doing today? Doing great. Out in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, her and her husband uh, have a, a thing called uh, Sparks House. It's where art and faith meet. Okay, so great organization out of Pittsburgh. They work with, uh, well, it's not like an age base, but they, they provide opportunity for people like uh, 20 to 40 kind of thing. Just, you know, that, that it's a place for uh, most of us who feel like a, this slight disconnect for the church, okay, where we're not really feeling um, at home uh, because of, you know, like, you know, the work we do or um, the way we happen to dress or, you know, it's like we don't quite connect um, to, you know, your standard American church. So this is still, it's faith, it, it, but it's not um, in a church building. Right. So uh, a little more music, a little more art, a little more questioning. Okay? Yes. So, um, so they started this thing called Way of the Cross, and I just stole it from her and <laughs> said, we, we need to get us some of this in Johnstown. I mean, she invited me to be a part of the Pittsburgh one, which I have. I've, I've made work and taken it to Pittsburgh for, um, for quite a while. And then I decided when, when Mary and I got this building, then let's do the same thing here. And now our version is a little different in that we get to, because we own the space, we leave it up for three days. So the work will start coming in on Monday. Um, I, I put the spreadsheet out to the community and just said, look, if there's, uh, read the scripture. Um, and if you are inspired to make work based on that scripture, then put your name down and people sign up. It's always nervous for me because when I first set it out, it's like, um, you know, like <laughs> we're talking like, okay, people, there's like eight missing. It all fills up. Um, and uh, so we got this list of great um, creative individuals willing to take a risk and make stuff. And I love the range of it. I've got my um, 11 year old, uh, I think he would be a grand nephew or great nephew um, who made a painting uh, for the exhibit. My sister who really doesn't draw regularly, but she made a fabulous drawing. Um, and, and then there are folks involved that Admit, I'm not an artist, and they're, but they collect these beautiful uh, collection of objects and make work. And even, even to Patrice, who, right. who you uh, 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 talked to the other day, like Patrice, um, uh, like I, I let her know because she's an artist. Yes. Okay. And I say, hey, here's an art challenge. I have no idea where she is faith wise, and I don't really care. Okay, but because she looks at that story and says, I'm gonna tell that story, good. So it's it's a bigger way to see the story, a bigger way to get people engaged. I really so. love it. It's a fantastic yeah. idea. Yeah. So. We'll show up um, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 2021, 20, 22, from three to seven. Um, it's not in any way like a, um, there's no service, there's no requirement, uh, it's not, there's no trouble. Okay folks, I'm gonna be here on opening day. I sure hope to see you here. And until I see you next time, Johnstown, stay friendly. Bye-bye.